Hello everyone, this is Thomas from plc2sql.com and in today's video I would like to show you Microsoft SQL library for Codesys 3.5 uh, customized for PLC to work. In this case we have uh, HMI from Turk which runs on Windows uh, platform and on top there is a Codesys target for Codesys 3.5 so you can uh, run there your your own PLC code also target visu and also web visu. So we will look how uh, this HMI can communicate with a SQL server. In this video I will I will show you compact version of this library. So on top of it there is a Microsoft SQL server settings. So here there is a host name of our SQL server in, in cloud. There is a port port number. Here is a username, password there is a PLC host name which is the uh, name of PLC in the database it doesn't matter you can show you can choose uh, what name you want and here is the na name of the database from here you can try to connect to the database so if I will press connect I can see that user raspberry was successfully logged to the database test I can disconnect I can also try ping which tells me if uh, the server on seconds uh, on other side is reachable. In our case, we will try to call query select top five from table PLC test one, where ID is equal to five. So I will press just write data, and function block uh, call this uh, select uh, query to database locked. Uh, locked, uh, made a query and disconnect from the database. So we look to the response. Here we can see that we got five rows and seven columns from the database. Here are the names of the columns and we can use the convert function. So in this case we can see that from uh, row one, column seven, we got date time. If I will ask for column six, I will get a double integer if I will ask 5 I will get real value 4 will be integer or in our case double integer because integer and double integer function is the same uh, now 3 we will get string string is 0 0.5 but in string representation column 2 will be boolean value we can see that boolean value is true and column 1 row 1 is number 6 so we'll continue with tutorial in Codesys uh, environment now we will show how to get a uh, function block which I showed you on uh, PLC from Turk into your Codesys environment so go to website plc2sql.com from here to products Microsoft SQL library for Codesys Turk here is the all, uh, all necessary information about this library here you can fill, fill the form and buy license uh, but now we will just uh, click on try for free and we will get, uh, get the package which you can install into your Codesys environment but I already installed it so I will open example project so we will go to our uh, root folder where is our user we will find Codesys Microsoft SQL Turk library open here we will choose the new version example and we will choose this TX500 because it's PLC which I showed you. We'll wait till it, uh, it will open to us. So what we can see here is one application which contains compact and normal normal example. Uh, we will work with compact example. Uh, normal one works similar but it's for more more advanced users. So 
we will look for our PLC, it's over here, we can see it, we will press login, so here is the main program, uh, I choose only uh, example compact, so we can see there is a there is a function block. Here, here is the host. Host is the, the host name or IP address of the SQL server. Here is the port. Here is the timeout. Now host name how we want to call our PLC in the database. Username, password, uh, name of the database. Here is the activation number, which you will purchase if you want to use uh, this library longer than two hours after start. Here is our query string, in our case right now it's insert. So we can insert into database some data or we can select from database. Uh, everything is done by this x -vari uh, data. so you will put some string in here, you will trigger this vari data and FIFO buffer inside of this function block will take care of it. Uh, here is the status of, of the function block, here is the error message, here you can see if it was connected successfully, if login failed and so on. New feature in here is that you can see the MAC address to which will PLC bind the, the license. So if I will look here, I can copy the, the MAC address, if I will get correct activation number which you will get after after purchase and you will put it here you can see that uh, function block was activated so that means the activation number uh, is correct uh, another feature is to get uh, IP address here you will put the host and you will get the right IP address here you can uh, use the pink there is the there is a PRG which uh, calculates time for you. Um, here is the func uh, function for insert query which we can use. Uh, here is a timer for automatic uh, calling trigger. Here we can create the select query which was on the video and here are the functions for converting variables. So, I will go to the visualization. Compact. So, now uh, we can insert some data. So, uh, in here, I will decide that our data will be hello. Test integer will be 4000. If we will go back here, we can see that it was changed. And if I will press write data, we can see that PLC automatically log into database, create a, uh, execute the query, and log out from the database. And now we can use the select command which will work like that, that we will just switch this to select, either to select will be 4000. If we will go back, we can see that we will get top 5, where uh, ID is 4000. Write data, yeah, we got some data, we can go to response, and we can see that we got 5 rows, 7 columns, so if I will ask for one uh, column three, I will get some value uh, in string. If I will column seven, I will get the date time when it happened. So this was the short uh, Short video how to show you how it works.